The last few months have seen us been in a situation that we've never thought we'd be in before. They advise people not to go to pubs and restaurants. COVID-19 has presented us with a number of unique challenges, from the introduction of social distancing to increased hygiene procedures. And we're fighting hard to survive and protect as many of the 2,000 jobs that we have here. The COVID-19 crisis has brought us many and varied challenges. In home shopping, the demand here, like most people have seen, has been huge. I've been a partner for 21 years um, and in that time, I cannot begin to tell you how life feels very, very, very different. We've seen more change in our business than we did in the previous 10 years. It's been a massive challenge and every single one of us in this business has been impacted in some way. Back in March, at the start of COVID-19, we laid out three clear priorities. It was the safety of our people, it was to fulfil our role in feeding the nation, it was to survive the crisis and then thrive. So for me, the speed at which lockdown happened and the impact it had almost overnight on our colleagues, our members, the communities we serve was huge. The main impact on me was about reinforcing responsibility towards my team, just making sure that everyone was well. This is the office. As you can see, there's barely any people here. We now have around 1,400 colleagues from the CEC who are now working from home. Well done everybody, what a team. I've been working from home and I thought at times it might feel quite lonely and I might feel quite isolated, but there's been so many opportunities to connect with my team and more broadly and having a little bit of company from my four-year-old daughter during some of those difficult days has helped too. I had an email from the school this morning to say that Emily's not submitting as much work as the other children. We are doing our best to keep them doing their schoolwork, but juggling full-time working and homeschooling is just an impossible task. The uh, COVID crisis has provided P&G with the opportunity for our brands and our businesses and our people step up to do our bit to help. And overnight, we realised we had members who wanted to deliver food uh, to people who were shielding. We're helping over a thousand charities support the most vulnerable in our communities across the UK. We donated five million to Fair Share and the Trust of Trust, and that will help provide over four million meals to families in food poverty. We've managed to prepare and send out 300 meals today, that's 300 lasagnas to go out to Halifax Hospital right on this evening. We noticed that the NHS staff were struggling to uh, acquire uh, essentials, so we put that aside. Good afternoon, Spa Ludlow, Donna speaking, how can I help? Thank you so much. Thanks, Teresa. Really appreciate the help. It's not just about delivering now, it's about keeping everyone safe. It's really amazing to feel like that we are making a huge difference. There's nobody working any harder than the NHS staff up and down the country. They come out of the hospital, they get the food box, they get in the car and they go home. It felt amazing actually, really, really nice that like we were getting recognised for all the hard work that we're doing. Welcome to the Costco Pub Up Star. The star offers a range of essentials, for example, milk, bread, eggs, fresh fruit and veg, fresh meat and also cleaning products. We wanted to take a pause and recognise and show our appreciation. Please join us in a round of applause for all NHS and key workers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really the message has been looking after each other. Covid has shone a light on really what's important to people. It's been you know a Herculean effort really from all concerned. I just we couldn't be prouder. Make sure that you keep yourself safe, uh, make sure that you try and keep smiling through um, all of this craziness and um, take care of each other. learn from this and come back stronger than ever. This doesn't stop here.
Now amid COVID-19, everybody in the trade has done a fantastic job in keeping Britain fed. As you've seen from the video, farmers, producers, manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers have all played a part. So thank you for a brilliant, brilliant job. Now we at Grocery Aid have then been supporting colleagues and friends in the trade who've actually needed a helping hand. In fact, we've supported over 17,000 people from the grocery trade and distributed more than four million pounds to help keep them going. So on behalf of everybody at Grocery Aid, we salute you for keeping the nation fed. And on behalf of our 17,000 beneficiaries, we say thank you for the support. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and thank you.